Okay. Uh, so hi guys. Uh, my name is Isaac. Uh, I actually uh, just started to learn JavaScript a few months back, uh, not more than a year. So uh, one thing coming to my mind is for many meetups that I attended, they are too advanced for me because I'm a new learner. Is there anyone uh, learning JavaScript just a few months ago? Or oh, okay. I'm feeling stressed now. <laughs> okay, yeah. So um, I'm coming from a C sharp background, and then uh, just recently I have the thoughts to uh, learn to do mobile apps. So the first technology come to my mind is uh, React Native. Uh, it's very hot now. So uh, when I come to when it come to my mind, then I I try to learn it, and then uh, then I have to learn React JS, and then eventually oh uh, yeah, I have to learn JavaScript. So um, by learning the JavaScript, I go through a book, You Don't Know JS. Uh, I'm pretty sure many of you heard of it. And then it's very advanced for me as a new learner and very complex. So uh, and then I stumbled upon a very uh, easy way. Uh, somebody just summarized everything for the uh, object-oriented design in uh, JavaScript. So I thought can share with some of you and, and uh, uh, beneficial for the new learners. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, I'm currently a software engineer at Detract Systems. Uh, we are a POD solution, proof of delivery. So we targeting the uh, logistic industry. Yeah. Uh, so I'm currently doing uh, React Native over there. Okay. So this is the code that coming, uh, making fun of the bad class design. Uh, you wanted a banana, but you got a gorilla holding the banana and the entire jungle which clearly the very bad design. So, which is why the first thing when I try to learn JavaScript, the first thing is I try to learn the ob uh, object-oriented design. So, uh, today I'm going to present four common patterns. The first one is factory object creation pattern. Second one, constructor pattern. The third one, pseudo-classical pattern. And the fourth one is, uh, I study from this, uh, you don't know JS, uh, the author actually written this uh, OLU, so object link to another object pattern. Uh, this is going to be a very high level uh, presentation. So for the first uh, pattern, factory object creation pattern, uh, is also known as factory pattern. Basically, any function that return an object, we can call them as a factory design pattern. And it uses a factory functions, as I say, any functions that return an object, we can call it a factory functions. And the objects will have the same properties, including the state and behaviors. So this is the example. We have a function called make gorilla, and we returning, we explicitly returning an object with an attribute name, number of banana, and a show off function. And then we declare a variable called John, a new object, and then we call the function make gorilla, and then we call the uh, function show off, and then do the console login. So for this pattern, there's some drawback. We cannot know how the object was created. Uh, for, for instance, we can't use the instance of, we can't use the get prototype of to know how, uh, what is this uh, object like the John is belongs to the make gorilla class or the gorilla uh, object. And the second drawback is they don't share the behaviors. What it means by that is John itself have a show off pattern and rock itself have another show off uh, function. So which means that in a large system, if I have tens of thousands in, in one jungle, I have a huge root of uh, gorilla is going to cause a lot of memory issue, yeah. And if space is a concern, so then uh, introduce another pattern called constructor pattern. So basically, constructor uh, constructor function is uh, just a normal function when we call it with a new keyword in front of it. Uh, it's also known as constructor function. So when we call with a new keyword in front of the function, there is a four key thing will happen immediately created. Uh, create a new object. This inside the function will be set as the new object. Function code execute within the new object execution context and it will implicitly return a new object. So take from the previous example, I have a function called gorilla. 
we can uh, we can use this dot name equals to name taking the uh, parameter in and then here clearly we don't have any return keyword and then we in, uh, we declare the method uh, called this dot show off so then from the john there there is a new keyword in front of the gorilla with the parameter with the attributes and then uh, we can do like john do show off uh, which essentially do the same thing um, so now the difference is we can do the extra console logging like John instance of Gorilla, which return us true. So this is uh, the, the solution for one of the drawback that I mentioned previously. We can check the type now. We can check the instance now. Okay, then we come to the third uh, pattern, pseudo classical pattern. So uh, which is one of the uh, consider advanced topic for me when when I study this JavaScript is a prototype delegation. Uh, yeah, so for this code example, we have a function gorilla, and basically it does nothing. Uh, not to say do nothing. It's a uh, we we do the same thing as the previously. We we have the name, we have the number of banana, but because the previous, sorry, I missed this uh, point out. Oh. For this pattern, constructor pattern, if we can see, we have a John, we have a rock, but the show off function itself is still exists in each of the John and the rock. So we doesn't really solve the, uh, the memory consumption problem uh, as compared to the first one. We only solve one of the drawback, which is we, we can use the instance of now. So for the third pattern is actually for us to solve the the, the, the last pet, the last drawback which is we can use the prototype we can call gorilla dot prototype dot show off so now when we create a new object john and rock we can call the show off method but the show off method actually didn't exist inside the john so it will pro it will perform a prototype lookup along the chain and then it found inside the gorilla and then it invoke the function so this one uh, the function only exists at one place in, instead of inside each and every individual object. But uh, it still gives us a very uh, class type look. Like you, you still somehow feeling because there is a new keyword in front of it. And some, some, uh, there are many, many articles actually saying that ES6 class is actually a very bad decision about uh, having this class because it's a uh, create more confusion and uh, leads to many uh, false assumptions because as like me, I'm coming from c -sharp background. So many things I thought it works as same as the previous c -sharp background. Uh, it's actually create a lot of confusion. So the last pattern is actually uh, introduced by the author or maybe not introduced by him, I don't know. Uh, it's just men uh, mentioned in, in the book. So it's an uh, object link to other object pattern. We don't use the new keyword. Uh, we define a blueprint object, and then we don't use the function to create the object. So as you can see, uh, instead of using the function, we declare the variable called gorilla, and then we have a, a init uh, attribute with a function. Uh, so during the join, when we try to create, we use object of create, and then we call the init function to create the instance. So, but, uh, yeah, maybe I'll just finish this first. Okay, uh, so John Doe show off will actually, uh, again, yeah, it's just uh, all, the, all the example is actually following the previous example. So now we can actually, uh, instead of using the uh, instance of, we can also use the uh, object dot get prototype of John equals to gorilla equals to true. Yeah, uh, so yeah, basically that's about it. Uh, any questions? Uh, since you guys are not uh, not really a new learner, right? Actually, I, I have some question to ask you guys. Uh, <laughs> actually, to my opinion, right, this one looks like class design to me because in the book they mentioned that uh, a class design for the very classical class design, we define a class, then we create a new instance using a new keyword based on the class so the class is like a blueprint but to me this one looks like a blueprint for a gorilla as well 
And then I just, instead of using the new keyword, I use the object of create to create an instance out of the gorilla. Do you think that my assumption is makes sense? Is it the same? Or no? <laughs> yeah. The class is the syntactic issuer for the ESX. Yeah. yeah, I know. There is no class design. Yeah, I, I'm I'm comparing this one with the classical class as in C sharp, Java. Because to me, right, we, we usually we define the class for Java, for C sharp. We'll define the class first. Whenever we need to use it, we, we declare a new uh, instance, right? Yeah. For this one, it looks definitely the same to me. <laughs> so, you guys want to debate something about it? <laughs> we have to think a lot of the time of uh, JavaScript is more about like uh -huh. base object oriented rather than like using like class case. Okay. Uh, sorry, is that a question? <laughs> sorry, did I miss something? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. No. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, maybe check out this somehow like meta. Maybe can see. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. No mind. Uh, any other questions? Uh, any any questions? You you guys wondering or any uh. Any things you guys think that there's something wrong with this, the, the, the pattern or the drawbacks of the dimensions? So, so you have to try to explore something like a uh, inheritance and foreign yeah. uh, Yes, of course. Yeah. So uh, inheritance uh, in JavaScript. So I think it's uh, using the prototype inher inheritance. So pro prototype delegation. So uh, since inheritance is just a uh, using the function bring uh, so it's like a chain lookup that's why uh, in JavaScript people uh, favors uh, this language is because uh, there is this prototyper functions where it allows us to just you link from for what one object link to another object and then when we don't find the attribute in it we can just look up to another object right mm. yeah Issue with the prototype method, correct? Yeah. So uh, in this case, is the family issue still there? The prototype? Uh, because. Uh, sorry. Yeah, because, uh, because the function is now. Yeah, the function is now stay inside the gorilla, as you see. Gorilla dot prototype dot show off. Yeah. So if you really. Uh, there's a function, I, I don't remember the name. Uh, we can check whether this, this attribute is it, uh, exists inside the John or is it exists inside the rock. Actually, it doesn't. So what I meant is the, mm. the, fourth, uh, the fourth class or design pattern that you were introducing, uh, does the memory issue still exist or is it gone? Because there's no, because this. Uh, yeah, for, for, my, for my field, yeah, it's still in. <laughs> yeah. So this one, this one, yeah, this one, I, I, I don't think it solved the memory consumption issue, but oh, sorry, yeah. It, it's still the same um, instance of function, so you're not creating multiple instances of function. Object create doesn't like you create. Yeah. It, it does solve the oh. oh, it does. Okay, <laughs> I didn't know. That. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Any other questions? Oh. Sorry. Uh, maybe I'm just a very new newbie, and I thought the talks can target to some new learners. <laughs> but I didn't know so many experts around. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you.